Welcome to Rumble Book Club. I'm your host, Michael Hernandez, and today we're going to take a look at a brand new storybook by famous author and illustrator Bill Watterson. He is famous for his 10-year-long project of the Calvin and Hobbes series, which I read growing up. Millions of millennials and people even older than me grew up reading it, and I don't know if kids still read it today, but I would highly recommend that series. But today we are here to talk about his brand new project in collaboration with John Cash. Both worked on the writing and the illustrations for a long period of time, and what came out was the mysteries. The mysteries is built to look and feel just like what you would see in a kid's children's storybook, but it's written for people of all ages. The content matter, the illustrations, it's definitely something that feels like a bit of a fever dream. If anything, it's a little bit haunting, a little bit creepy. When it comes to storybooks, the aesthetics really does play a major role. I mean, you're dealing primarily with not just writing, but also the picture. So the ability to put it together in a very aesthetically pleasing way counts for a lot and they really knock it out of the park with uh, this book the mysteries just the cover it's uh, kind of a black canvas very matte black with this glossy photo of a man with a villager with this look of just pure fear as he's looking up into the corner you it almost gets your heart racing just as you as you look at it you get this old english font in silver everything is done so well on the back you see uh, the image of what looks like a cathedral gargoyle overlooking an old medieval town. Uh, very mysterious. There's all this imagery that seems to like it carries a lot of symbolic weight to it. Given the fact that it is a very brief story, I don't want to give too much away, but what the overall thesis of the book is, is that the population of all of the known civilization is living in terror of these things that tend to haunt them, that plague them. They drift in and out, unseen, never truly being spotted, and they, they're called, they're known as the mystery. These people are just living in constant, pure terror of what is lurking in the shadows, and eventually uh, the king, in his desperation to end this tyranny of the unknown, sends his knights out on a mission and what they find is truly shocking it completely stuns the population and everything in society changes from the moment that this this mystery is uncovered what really struck me about this book is the fact that when i first read it i truly believe that this book is a resounding call of the entire population to come back to the spirit to come back to not just the tangible things that can be weighed and measured, not just this anti-religion sentimentality, uh, sentimentality which has taken over the population over the past several generations. It's eaten up a lot of my generation as a millennial, but there seems to be this return, and you see it among all the different arts, and this book is no, no exception. I love absolutely everything about this book. It was so well done. The imagery is both beautiful and at times terrifying and creepy. Uh, the book itself is just well put together. It feels like you're a kid again, opening up a, a good ghost story. And I found it really exciting. I read it to my kids. They love it. My my uh, One of my younger sons in particular has read it at least 10 times over, and I would highly recommend it. I got the book at Half Price Books. Uh, I found it on the shelf and I just, I couldn't resist. I saw Bill Watterson's name and his name is just gold in my memory from all those years growing up reading Calvin and Hobbes. I highly recommend it. The book is The Mysteries by Bill Watterson and John Cash. I hope, once again, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but go out and get yourself a copy. Thanks for watching everybody and go read something.